titles, let the others go. Yeah, that's another thing they need to do, is they need to put less focus on, yeah, working on anything that isn't related to the main, the, the main series game. They need to do with, like, what, they need to do with what they did for, uh, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Let an outside company do that. You don't need to worry about that. Legends of Arceus, I'll give them a pass on because they were trying something new in terms of trying to figure out how they want to progress the main series forward. So they made that spin-off game in an engine or in the style that they were looking to make the rest of their games moving forward in. Um, so I'll give them a pass on that. But they did the right thing by letting Ilka take over, you know, Gen 4 remakes. So for Gen 5 remakes, they need to do the same thing and push that off to somebody else. Their focus should already be on Gen 10. That's they, they should be doing nothing else but doing Generation 10 right now. No side projects, no different Pokemon games. They just Generation 10. And for the love of God, hire more people. <laughs> Dear God, hire more people. Imagine how much more they could do with more people. I feel like they don't have a lot of people. I think they're still a relatively small company, which doesn't make sense because they definitely have the money to hire people. All they have to do is do it. Just do it! Don't let your dreams just be dreams! Imagine if they're still spending time on Pokemon Sleep. I That game's never coming out. That app's not coming out. You think, you guess the fam, um, you think the fanboys just forget about all the issues? I disagree with that too. On the grounds that I'm on Twitter literally every day, Twitter and Facebook literally every day, and that's, I still see people posting about Scarlet Violet issues. I don't think it's something that they'll forget or that they'll let go. Now, say if, say if Pokemon Company patches out all the issues from Scarlet and Violet and the game runs better later on down the line, then at that point, I can see the fan base forgetting it until it shows back up in Generation 2 and people are... Because <laughs> you know it's going to happen, right? You know it's going to happen. You, you know they're going to push out. You know they're going to rush the cycle for another generation and it's going to pop up and we're going to have this craptastic game and we're all going to be pissed off again. That's just the way we... This is the way things work. You don't know if it's a people problem or a knowledge problem. It's probably a bit of both. They probably are understaffed. Um, that's their fault, of course. But it's also probably that most of them, if not all of them, on that uh, on their crew are so used to working on handhelds that they are uh, that they're just not equipped to work on bigger, you know, systems. I mean, you guys saw that one game um, that they that Game Freak released. I can't remember what the name of it was. It's that little town. I think it's called Little Town Hero, right? I think that's what that game is called, Little Town Hero. Yeah, that one. <laughs> that game just like bloop, it came out and immediately disappeared. There was not a soul talking about that game. God dang it! Where is it? When is it going to be just two phoenixes? They weren't creating anything extraordinarily new. Uh, nope. Not outside of Little Town Hero. I believe that's what it's called, Little Town Hero. I'm gonna look that up real quick. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. Yep, it's called Little Town Hero. It's the only game that Game Freak has made outside of Pokemon. Or any Pokemon spin-offs. And I want, want to see what its Metacritic score is. It's 
64 on Metacritic. But that's only off of 25 reviews, which means nobody played this game. critic reviews and 70 user reviews it's got a few tens out there but all those all the comments from the the reviews that have tens are just people telling the Pokemon fans to shut up <laughs> In terms of what, like pop it and whatnot? Can I make this jump? No, I have to probably go for it. Yeah, no, it's not too. No, no. How can so many games load the world so efficiently, and yet the largest IP in Japan can't manage to chunk the load? I'm still not understanding what you mean by load the game. Are you talking about in terms of like frame rate? SMV, uh, S Scarlet Riot loads the entire game or entire world all at once and everything in it um, is all held in memory. If you play Breath of the Wild, then only the relevant chunks are loaded. Again, completely different companies though. Completely different companies and and whatnot. Again, also, a Game Freak is not known for working on. They've made what three games? I don't know if they did the Let's Go games as well. Um, so you're looking at Let's Go, Sword Shield, and uh, four games: Let's Go, Sword Shield, Scarlet Violet, and Legends Arcus on a on a platform that isn't a handheld. Whereas you're talking about Legend of Zelda, who has been doing this for, well, their entire career. I'm not saying this gives them a pass. I'm just saying that it's kind of hard to compare those two games when you have, you know, a company that's known for doing it versus a company that we already know is not known for doing it. Kind of like Sonic Forces, not Sonic Forces, Sonic uh, Frontiers. Same issue. It loads the entire game at once, and then you have giant mouths of popping that pops in all over it. Um, I don't know if they have the same kind of, uh, you know, technology there. I'm assuming it's different because they aren't using SD cards. They're using, you know, data disk. No, I'm not. That's what I'm saying. You, we don't give them a pass. Because they could definitely afford to hire a different person. I'm just saying that's not something that I would have expected because it's it's Nintendo. <laughs> it's it means it's Game Freak, not Nintendo. It's Game Freak. Most likely they're trying to cut costs somewhere. Why, I don't know, but. Yeah, all I can say is I severely hope something changes for them in the future. Like, I, they need, they, they gotta do better. It's gotta do better. We should not have to wait for an outside patch. 
um, for your game to, you know, play better. Pokemon is a huge moneymaker. It's populated in the US, is nothing compared to in Japan. Oh, I'm certain. I am quite certain. And all the problems that it has are problems that it can fix. And all the problems that it has are problems that it gave to itself. These aren't problems that just cropped up overnight. These are, are because of some outside source. These are literally problems that they forced upon themselves because they were being, I don't know if they were trying to be stingy with their time or what, but it's, it's all stuff that they could have managed if better if they just cared enough, you know? I'm sure people would not mind an extended TCG period or an extended anime period. They put fillers up before, or they can't do it now, right? I really do hope that they take a look at all the the fan feedback and they really really you know check take a look at their schedule and see what it is they can do to make things better because yeah this this can't happen again um if they release generation 10 and it's like this their player base is going to they're, they're going to lose their entire player base or at the very least, they're going to lose a large chunk of their player base. There's no way it's going to want to deal with that again. Even if the story turns out to be really good, people are going to be fed. They're going to be fed up with the fact that, you know, they decided they were going to do this again, despite, you know, the backlash that they got from the first one. Everybody, including Game Freak, or including Pokemon Company, they knew the game was going to sell well uh, for multiple reasons. One being that it's the next generation, and because they're forcing everybody to play, you know, competitive and whatnot on the the new generation, that that meant at least, the very least, your entire competitive scene is going to be purchasing your game, so you don't have to worry about that. But then you have, you know people who are like okay it's pokemon let's see if they made it any better than the last one maybe we'll jump back into it like my wife she played sword and shield she didn't enjoy it um she only played it because i happened to have the extra copy so she just played it um she did not play sun and moon or she started sun and moon she didn't finish it she didn't even get halfway through it before she was like okay i'm done with this um she didn't do x and y um, she did play Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, but she did not play, um, that's just because she's a fan of that generation, 3. Uh, she did not play X and Y. She, I think her last Pokemon game was Black and White. Before, you know, Sword, Shield, Scarlet, Violet. And honestly, she probably only picked up Scarlet, I mean, Sword, Shield, because, it, you know, 3D game. Let's, let's see what they did on their 3D game. She didn't play the Let's Go games, because she didn't see the point. The odds that I buy the next Pokemon game are slim to none. Sword and Shield was boring to you. Slur and Shield, and it's weird. Scarlet and Violet has a banger story, but its graphical issues leave much to be desired. Whereas in Sword and Shield, um, it had graphical issues and whatnot. It just wasn't as prevalent or bad as what we're seeing in Sword and Shield. I mean, Sword and Scarlet and Violet. Um, but its story was absolute garbage doo-doo butter its story was so bad its story had you laying your head on your pillow trying not to go to sleep there's some terrible people do some, t some dangerous stuff but don't you worry about that let us adults handle it then you get to the end oh wait we adults actually can't handle this so we actually kind of do need you to come and do something about this sorry
that's that plot line was fun for the first three generations after that i'm just like okay whatever black and white had a really good uh story uh generation four story was eh, about the same um i did like the way they did it up in platinum though platinum the, the retelling of the story was uh fun but uh diamond and pearl it was one of those games that I played through just to get through it. Um, and then I waited for Platinum. Couldn't finish the game, to be honest. Yeah. My wife only finished the game because we were on our honeymoon. And so, when we were in our cabin, we didn't have anything else to do. But play, you know, Pokemon. Because at the time, she wasn't really big into Breath of the Wild. She liked watching me play it, but she didn't want to play it herself. Um, she got to try it, though. She, she really loved it. Did I hear myself? You talking about on our honeymoon? Yeah. I mean, we weren't, you know, being lovey-dovey, lovey-dovey, cuddly, you know, 24-7. I loved our room on our boat, though. We were on a cruise. Um, and, uh, we had, uh, on our patio, you had the zip line going right over our patio into the pool down below us. Oh yeah, man, we were we were playing Pokemon like mad people. We were doing raids together and all that kind of stuff. Cause I mean, we had no internet, so we could only do raids with uh, ourselves. So yeah, when we, when we weren't out um, off the boat, or when we weren't out walking around and you know exploring the boat, we were just chilling in a room. I say we spent probably. A good two to three hours in our room a day. At any other point in time, we're walking around, you know, the boat. In the morning, we would go out and exercise because the boat had a, a track course on it. So we would go run around that in the morning uh, before breakfast. But yeah. Like... So I've been playing. I've been playing a lot of Scarlet Violet though, these last couple days. I've been really doing a lot of. Uh, I'm trying to do a living decks, shiny living decks. So I've been trying to catch, you know, one of each Pokemon, so to speak. Um. So that's basically what I've been doing for most of today. I did my studying this morning, and then I just been trying to do living deck stuff. Been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. That's not the one. Is that the free-to-play one? That's like on computer. I think the one I'm thinking about right now is Legacy of the Duelist. The free-to-play one on Switch and whatnot. Switch PC, all systems. That's the. That's the the Master Duel, right? The one that I can't get into because I don't want to spend money to buy good cards. But. I tried playing online and everybody's playing the same high level deck, so it kind of just ruined the gameplay for me. Yeah, it's Master Duel. Yeah, I was so sad because I was like, I was looking forward to getting into it, and I was like, wait, I gotta spend money to buy my decks? Aw, oh, man. I don't wanna do that. <laughs> You're playing a different deck? Okay, what type of deck are you playing? I think the deck that I wanted to build was the Red Eye Slash Dragon deck. Or some kind of Cyber deck. You have a live twin deck? Like Cyber Twin Dragon twin deck? I'm sorry, I'm. My Yu Gi Oh! knees has been quite limited as I haven't really been playing the game much in, the, in recent years. 
Oh, it's a B tuber deck. Okay. Okay. This is when the show came out and the card uh, game was super basic. Yeah, I stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh! around the time I think it was uh, Link Summons came out. Because at that point, I, it's just too much for me to, to keep track of. Pendulum Summons, Link Summons, Exceed Summons. I was like, yeah, okay, y'all y'all hurting my head now. I still like watching it played, though. Like, I'll watch it in a tournament event and whatnot. I just, I don't know if I'll ever go back to playing it. Plus, the community in my area is bad. The local, the, my local scene for Yu-Gi-Oh! is, it's really bad. That, that, that's not to say there aren't some good people in there, but most of them are really bad to each other. It took you a while, but you think you understand it? You know what? I think I know, I think I've heard of the live VTuber deck thing. Um, I think uh, there was a VTuber by the name of Nuxtaku that I, I think I saw a, made a couple of videos on it or something like that. The community can make a break, yeah. I mean, I remember going to a couple of regionals in my Yu-Gi-Oh career and just watching people, not literally watching, but you know, you'd see people just walk up to others sitting on the floor or something like that and just steal their stuff right in front of their face and run off. I'm just like, yo, y'all are legit. Savage. God, they didn't care. This game's a choice. I keep using my wish well instead of just using, uh, Instead of just using this stupid unicorn ring that I have. I mean, spirit ring. But yeah, I I switched to Pokemon because it was much easier on my poor little brain. You may laugh at me if you wish. The best thing, the best part about Pokemon TCG is that they remove, they remove gameplay mechanics every season. So it's like, yeah, I don't have to remember to do that anymore. Now I definitely see why people would hate that, but uh, it's it's perfect for my my pea sized brain. I do actually want to go up on this side. This this will give me uh, it let me fill the chambers back up with lava, liquid hot magma. I do still like playing the the Yu-Gi-Oh games though, like Legacy of the Duelist and whatnot. I do definitely enjoy playing those games. Um, I used to play a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. But now it's mostly just Pokemon. I want to check out the One Piece trading card game, though. Unfortunately, it's sold out at my local store, so... Your roommate is doing the 24-hour stream tomorrow, which means 24-hour uh, streamer voice. Or I guess say streamer voice all night. That's unfortunate. I don't think I will ever do a 24-hour stream. Unless it's part of the subathon. Um, I don't think I can do a 24-hour stream. Um, 
where I'm going to be on the camera 24 hours. The stream can be alive 24 hours, but I personally am not going to be able to do that. Um, I already know that I will... I would probably be good, because I've done a 14-hour, 15-hour stream straight for. Um, but around then, around 16-hour mark, I'm, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I just, and I just want to go to bed. Some people build for it, some people like you or not. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I've done an 8 a.m. stream to like 10 p.m. Um, but we were also playing a bunch of different games, so it was kind of easy to do. We are playing Mario Kart, Smash Brothers, uh, Mario Golf, um, Mario Party. League of Legends. Most of it was just Smash, though. We played, like... I want to say we played, like, four hours of Smash. But, yeah, I'm just not built for it. <laughs> not even a little bit. Now, if we were to do, like, the sub... If, if we're able to do the subathon in the way that I want to do it, and that's the one where you have the timer, the stream timer, that increases with every sub, um, then... Then... Um, I probably still won't stream the entire time. I would probably start my stream at, like, 10 a.m. Uh, and stream to, like... Or maybe even earlier. Maybe I even started at 8. Stream to, like, 10 p.m. Then I would go to sleep for the night, um, and while I'm sleeping, I do something like Twitch plays Pokemon or something like that, um, that way you guys can just, you guys still have something to do while I'm sleeping, then I wake up in the morning and just keep going until the timer's out. You try, but you quit like three minutes? Oh, no. Well, I mean, you gave the old college try, and that's all that count. um, that's all that matters, right? The old college try. Why can't I get it to do the double dragons? Alright, so did I go the wrong way? I feel like I went the wrong way. I think I need to go back down here. I'm so confused. Why? Is... I guess that's a shortcut. I don't know why it's there, though. Oh, wow. Let me find out. Oh, no. She didn't kill it by herself. Felix attack, too. I said, let me find out Shiba killing stuff by herself. Soloing people. Okay, I know what I need to do. I need to lower the uh, lava count here. We need to drop the lava. I'm curious as to what these treasure chests are made of that they can survive being under lava for as long as they have been. There we go, double dragon. Is that also based off your luck or is can you hit the button to force it out? There we go. Hey, we want Dark Souls 2 chest or like, please don't hit, uh, hit me or I'll break. Yep. Unless you're the mimics, in which case, please don't hit me or I'll eat you. Oh, we can't do anything here yet. Oh, we have to douse these, don't we? Oof, the frame rates just took a nosedive. Just use 
use the Estes Charm thingy? For the Mimics? Oh, you mean the one that makes them all kind of loopy? I think it's the item that if you use it on another player, they can't drink Estus Flash anymore. But if you use it on the, the treasure chest, it'll incapacitate the Mimic. Although it was fun to try to get the one minute to fight the fire demon. Oh yeah, that one was hilarious. It was hilarious when it worked too. Somehow I still got caught, uh, caught in the crosshair and killed though, so... It was hilarious to him make it work, but uh... I still died. Like the, the demon did like weird jump thing and I got hit. Flame strength? Hey, that must mean it's finally my turn. It took literally till the end of the game before Jenna got a turn to put her hand on one of the tablets. And really, why can't we have given it to Garrett? Garrett has Flames Might. with this uh the rock i think now all we have to do is get the uh such a, i know right <laughs> compared to burst yeah it's definitely very underwhelming I can blow this flame a little bit. Alright, I need to go to the other side. Uh, how do I get over there? Oh, I know how to get over there now. Yeah, I gotta go through this. There's a door over here. The first thing first, I gotta do this. And then do this. But yeah, we're pretty much done with Air's Rock now. I mean, Magma Rock. Um, in terms of Jenny. We're missing what? Two Venus, two Mercury, one uh, Mars, and one Jupiter. But we already know where the last Jupiter is, so really we're just missing one Mars, two Venus. We're missing five Jupiter. There's five Jenny that I don't know the location of, so to speak. And I'm pretty sure at least one of them is, or I'd say at least two of them. There's probably going to be one inside of... Uh, Mars Lighthouse and one inside of Prox, right? So, ideally, there are three Jenny that we don't know of, right? I guess I can retreat now, right? I got the Magma Stone, right? So that, that's it. We don't. There's nothing else for us to do here. I believe I already opened all the chests and whatnot too. I don't know why I said it like that. Chest assist. Okay, we made it out. Alright, so the next thing we do is I guess we go back to Loho, right? Blast the hole into that, then we get the Jenny there. Um, then we need to take all that stuff we got from there and we need to fly back over to here and create some weapons and whatnot. Um, I'm trying to remember 
where the dungeon is for Sentinel. I can't remember what dungeon that is and where it's located. I just know that there's a dungeon that you fight Sentinel and you get another, uh, uh, you get another special summon. It's also the place where you get to power train on, uh, the weird, uh, birdie things. Uh, the phoenixes, the, the bright ones, though. They're like blue. I think they're called Wonderbirds. Which is the real reason why I'm going there is because I want to run into the dual Wonderbirds and then, like, Spam train those guys. I had to look up signals since I couldn't remember what I'm um, either. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to look it up myself. Do I have syllables? Not really. Yeah, I don't really have syllables. I will say that my inventory is mad swole, bro. That's right, I said it. <laughs> I said it. My inventory is mad swole, bro. Yo, we don't warn people that we're gonna blow things up. We're just gonna blow it up. They can figure it out afterwards. Need to get back to your mind as yes one. I can give fortune cookie hints if you want them, so you don't have to spoil. You can just tell me where Sentinel is. <laughs> I, I honestly don't care about where the where to find it since I, I technically know what's in there. I know the Wonder Birds are there. I know Sentinel's there. I know there's a Mercury Jenny there. Outside of where to find it, I don't care. You can tell me. I don't care. Sentinel's at Sea of Time. I oh okay. So that's wait. Is that the one where you need to teleport? Sea of Time is the one you need to teleport, right? Or is that the, uh, yeah, that's Sea of Time, right? Huh. I think you can teleport for that. Okay, so I can't do that until after I go to Mars Lighthouse. Alright, so I think it's just better for us to do, go to Mars Lighthouse, get teleport, then try to find the rest of the Jenny. Right? Because there's... We can't find them all anyway because we need to be able to get teleport, so. Because even if we're able to find all the rest of the Jenny, we'll be short one Mercury because it's inside of the area where you fight Sentinel. Who, I can't remember, but I'm pretty sure Sentinel's really not all that hard to, of a boss, right? It's kind of like fighting Deadbeard. I w I yeah, there has to be. Right? Isn't Sentinel the 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 monster that's inside that dimly lit corridor that you just keep going up 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 until you reach the, the end? Or am I misremembering that? Yeah, but if you can't get to Sentinel without teleport, then I know there's a Mercury gen in one of the statues just before the room Sentinel's in. But if you can't get into it without teleport, then there's no way you can get to that Mercury Gym. Because I remember walking past one of the statues and it's doing that weird shaking thing. What am I trying to do? I'm trying to scoop. You make me want to shop. Or I mean, scoop, scoop, scoop it up. More golem course. Uh, there's probably something underneath here, right? Garrett, do some work finally. Is that dark matter? Nope, it's another golem core. More scooping. So why I call salt and pepper? <laughs> no, man, they're going, they're going to uh, strike my channel. All right, we have 
one more. Nope. This is the last Jupiter Jenny. We are now. We now have all the Jupiter Jenny. Yeah, I think I want to give her that Jupiter Jenny, right? Or do I give it to her? Oh, she loses Epicenter, Thorny Grave, and... Oh no, so I want her to have this. So that she could be... Yeah, okay, so this gives her the max level of the Samurai build, right, Ronin? Oh yeah, no, Mia needs one Earth, so the one of the next Earth ones that I get, I'm supposed to give to Mia. Um, and then the next Mercury one I'm supposed to give to uh, Shiva. To improve their class, yep. So I have, I have the, uh, the ninja, I have the, uh, Samurai who could also turn herself into a ninja if she wants um, By just using one uh, Venus Jenny she could turn herself into a ninja um, In the same aspect No, actually Yeah, no, so yeah always ninja can be a ninja um, white mage and she is our She's, no, she's our white mage, and she's our conjurer who can turn into a white mage uh, if we need it. Um, but she's our single target heals for now. That's what you like about white mage, uh, about samurai, you can change your class after buffing. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to find a, a newfound appreciation for it as well. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, so we have the cannon now. Um, what is our inventory looking like? Okay, I think we're safe to move on to Proxted. Then we'll come back and do all the rest of that stuff. Oh, I forgot our boat was right near the entrance. <laughs> I was like, wait, what are they doing here? I forgot that we didn't have the boat by the river, so they kind of just was right there. Alright, yep. I mean, there's definitely some, like, rusted weapons and stuff inside some of these clear spots on the in the water, but I, I'm not going to worry about it. I think I did this place already, right? This is called Call. Yeah, I did Call to Island already. Yeah, because I think there was a Mercury Jenny here. Yep, because he was right here. There's a lot of islands and settlements in this game where there's only one family living there. Alright, chat, here we go. To the frozen north. This rock is on fire. Or I guess I should say that rock was on fire. Before we were did it, but when we were doing it, did, it's, uh... Just a regular rock now. It makes a lot of sense considering the pot. True. I definitely need to take a look at the uh, Dark Dawn map. I want to see if the lands return back to what they were prior. I mean, I guess they can't because the damage has already been done. I want to see if the continents kind of reform back together, at, at least, right? I'm trying to remember, is Dark Dawn a truly long game? Like, 
Lost Age was. Because Lost Age, to me, felt like it was a really long game. Was Dark Dawn the same way? Oh my god, it's a Phoenix and a Turtle Dragon. What did I do to deserve this fun? You remember you talking about it, but you remember not seeing much in terms of landmass? Cool. I figured the landmass would still be about the same. I was just wondering if, you know, at the current map where all the land seems to be split apart. I wanted, I was curious if it, uh, you know, put itself back together somewhat. Maybe a bit shorter? I hope so, because I don't want to spend five years on that. I probably won't even do everything in it, like all the secret bosses and whatnot. I'll probably just play through it, try to get through the story at least, and maybe we come back at a later date and do the bosses and whatnot. Ah. I, just, I really would love to finish that game before the end of January, because I don't want to have that game lingering over my head when Fire Emblem comes out. You know what I mean? I want that to be completely out of the way and we're done with it. The only thing that I'm doing with it is YouTube content. Um, and we can focus specifically on, you know, Fire Emblem. Which reminds me, I need to put out this week's YouTube. I haven't done any YouTube this week. I've just been kind of maxing, relaxing, doing my uh, studying and all that kind of stuff. So I, I really need to put out this week's YouTube video. I was going to try to do two this week, but I, I flubbed. So maybe I'll do one tomorrow, one uh, on uh, Friday. Since tomorrow, I mean, on Saturday. Since tomorrow, I'm going to try to do an earlier stream we'll try to get one out tomorrow night and then one out Saturday during the day at some point um, if not then we'll do one on Sunday uh, on New Year's we'll put out a video on New Year's for uh, Golden Sun 1 we need to finish getting all the Golden Sun 1 out so we can start putting these Golden Sun 2 ones out Kratton come look at this there's a huge ice wall blocking our path nothing to worry about Jenna we'll just have to use that cannon we got from Loho that's right, if the cannon can blast away a stone wall, think what it'll do to ice. Felix, take us between those two blocks of ice for, um, for shelter. When you fire the cannon, we should be safe if we fire from this distance. Okay, here we go, Felix. Aim right at the ice wall and fire when ready. Fire the magma ball! Great, we did it. We can keep going now. All right, let's head for the northern seas. Let's go. Here we go. Oh wait, Shiva said.